Incoming transmission. Viewer request on Terra Lore. Civilian grade secured connection via IISS Relay Buoy SR1827 CW 331. Connection secured. Incoming planetary data. Terra, a garden planet on the Solomani Rim Sector and protected within the Sol Subsector, a third Imperium planet as of Imperial Calendar Year 1105. A water dominated planet, Terra is the homeworld of the Homo sapiens genealogy of the Solomani, one of the three major Sophant races of the third Imperium. An extremely xenophilic society with an Imperial place duke. The government type within the last 100 years has been noted by the IISS as a charismatic oligarch. Most citizens approve of the Duke and the Knights that oversee the government, with the Duke sitting in power in the world capital of Rio de Janeiro and Knights sitting in power over the five major sectors of the civilized world, those sectors being Africa, Asia, Oceania, Europe, and the Americas. The IISS classify Terra as a World Trade Number rating of 8, designating it a red line. Yet, since the Emperor has called for a mobilization of the Imperium's military for reasons not yet explained in any official dossiers, Terra was immediately upgraded to a blue line with a World Trade Number of 12. Due to Terra's nominal atmosphere for crop production, the 10 billion inhabitants have more than enough production to be requisitioned by the Imperial military during its mobilization. Terra now has an exboat line and is 37 jumps at J4 away from Imperial capital and 90 jumps away at J2 respectively. Due to its distance, most supplies produced by Terra are taken to the Soleimani Rim Naval Staging Area, which is currently classified. Terra has a Class A starport with both a high and low port. A Class A starport is more than capable of handling any civilian ship repairs, even up to large subsidized merchants. Within a 20 hour 1G burn is an Imperial Navy shipyard that builds, repairs, and refits the Imperial subsector navies of 332nd and 299th Bat Ron, as well as five Crew Rons and the 753rd Car Ron. These are just the unclassified cruiser and carrier squadrons known in the area. It is suggested to stay at least one astronomical unit away while detecting the fleet on your local. Terra does not have an Imperial Army base, but does have a planetary defense force of both volunteers and private military corporations. The private military corporations also foot the bill of 1,000 plus system defense boats and monitor stations. How the private military is compensated is still classified. There are multiple gas giants to scoop from if you don't wish to pay imperial rates for refined fuel. There is one moon with an IISS base as well as a small contingent of marines stationed on the Theophilus naval base. This concludes the planetary information available via buoy. It is advised to speak with customs about the ever-changing law level and the safety information regarding the brain blank pandemic. Thank you for using the Imperial Interstellar Scout Service's secured civilian relay buoy. You will now be disconnected. Hey guys, thanks for watching. This was a special request that we got via Twitter asking for some lore videos, and they were specifically looking for lore videos on our worlds that we kind of make for ourselves. Uh, they liked the idea of standard lore, but they wanted something a little bit more homebrew. So for all of you traveler uh, purists out there, this was again uh, kind of retooled to make it fit my world. And if you guys liked it, uh, let us know because we can go through some more of our lore. We actually put a poll up on Twitter, which you should follow us on Twitter and on Instagram. and. With all the votes we got, 50% of them, which was the majority, actually said that they wanted lore videos on 
the worlds that we create. So I figured I'd produce a small one just to see how it went. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and always remember to game on. Bye.